Hello and welcome back. So now in this video we will create a script for our menus. So right here in the scripts folder create a C sharp script by the name of menus. Let's open up the script and in here for now let's remove all of that and on this script we will be interacting with the scene management okay we will allow the user to go back to the main menu and that main menu will be our first scene so for that at the top we need to type using unity engine dot scene management after this in here we will create a header and let's name this header as all menus and in here we will create a public game object the first one will be the pause menu so we will name it as pause menu then the next one will be the end game menu so we will say public game object end game menu UI after this right down below we will say public static pool we will create a pool and using that pool we will check if our game is paused or not so let's name this as game is stopped let's equal this to false by default then down below we need to create some function so let's start from our first one which will be our resume function so we will say public void resume and in here when the game resumes we want the pause menu UI to be removed from the screen so we will set the active to false and then we want the game time to be normal so we will say time dot time scale equals to 1f and then we want to lock the cursor so we will say cursor dot lock state equals to cursor lock mode dot locked and then we want the pool which is game is stop set to false because when the game resumes then we want to tell that the game is not stopped after this let's create another function which will be the pause function so we will say void pause and in here when the game pauses we want to show the pause menu so we will say pause menu dot set active let's set it to true okay and when the game is paused we want to stop the time so we will say time dot time scale equals to 0 f after this we want the game is stopped to be equals to true because yes the game is stopped then let's create another function and actually we can create that function right here at the top because let's create the public function at top and the private functions down below okay so we have the resume we have the pause now let's create a public void and this function will be the restart function and in here when we click on the restart button we want to load the mission one scene so we will say dot load scene and the scene name is mission one you can check your scene name right here in the scenes folder I have this new scene which is mission one and actually this is scene manager so type scene manager okay after this we will create another function which will be for loading the main menu so we will say load menu and in here we simply want the time scale to be normal okay and then we will say scene manager dot load scene and we want to load the menu scene 
for now our menu scene is empty we have this menu scene which is uh, for now just empty we will create that scene don't worry about that but that is for the future okay so after this let's create a quit function for quitting the game so we will say quit game uh, in here when we quit the game we just simply want the application to be quit and basically this will not work in unity but when you build and run your game this function will work then okay so type application to quit and for checking if this button works or not we will show a message in the console that quitting game because as I told you in the unity we can't quit the game so we will just simply in the console save this now we have all of the functions now right here at the top let's create a update function and inside this update we will check if we press the escape button and by pressing the escape button we will pause the game so we will say input dot get key down and let's say the key code if the key code is escape then what we want to do we will first of all check if the game is paused so if the game is paused is set to true then we simply want to resume the game on the same escape button okay so we will call the resume function and actually we want to lock the cursor again so type that code there and then in the else what we want to do in the else it is obvious that the game is paused is set to true which means that yes the game is paused so if the game is paused we want to call the pause menu and when the game is paused we want the cursor to be not locked so we will just change this to none now let's just save this get back to unity then click on the scripts we have the menu script right there now let's click on this canvas let's attach the script here now we need to add the pause menu right there and the end game menu there and right here select both of these menus activated these two menus and in here let's make the resume button a little bit larger so that you can see that we are clicking on the resume button okay so make this a little bit bigger this restart and resume button you can just select both of them and resize it accordingly okay now let's make this both disappear let's focus upon the player let's go inside the 3d mode save it we have both of them attached now let's play the game and you will notice that we are now in the action mode we can just simply kill whatever enemy or drone we want but now if we click on the escape button now as you can see our game is being paused okay our enemy is stopped our player is stopped and as you can see right here we have this menu and now you can see the effect okay when we uh, hover our mouse on the resume button you can see it backgrounds changes to a dark color as you can see but for now this button will not work because we didn't add the functions to this so click on the resume button and if you scroll down let me just minimize that okay uh, maximize the button right here we have this on click so at the on click right here we need to simply drag and drop our canvas and from here go inside the menus and since this is a resume button so we will call the resume button on this and uh, okay we have done this for the resume button let's create this uh, select this menu button quit button and these three buttons as well let's click on that and let's drag and drop the canvas in all of them now let me 
click the menu button quit button menu button quit button okay because these are the same and actually first of all select these two menu button okay and click on menu and we will select this load menu function now as you can see in both of them we have added the load menu now let's select these both quit button and i am doing this to save our time and this is basically a shortcut for this now for the quit button the both of the quit button we will select the quit function and now for the restart since it is a different so we will select on the restart and select the restart function and now as you can see on all of the buttons we have the function added now this button will work now let's play the game and you will notice that when we click on the escape button now we have this resume button let's click on the resume we are now back in the game we can shoot and do whatever we want and now if we click on this menu button we will be redirected to the menu button and if we click on this quit button as you can see right here it shows that quitting game and it is being pressed so that's why the color is changed to a lot more target color and now if we click on this menu as you can see it launches the empty menu scene and the reason we didn't saw the end game menu because our when our player died then we want to activate this end game menu okay because as you know we have the restart menu and quit button on this one so now what we can do in order to make this work open up the player script and in the player script camera right here we will need a reference to the end game menu and then we will assign the end game menu so when the player die we will show that menu but we will do that in the next video so catch you guys in the next one